Welcome to Best Bites Forever. Today I am making these soft pretzel bites. They go fabulous with my beer cheese recipe. Let's go ahead and rock them out. I'm starting off here with one and a quarter cups of milk. I have warmed this in the microwave. You can also warm it on the stove if you want to, but you don't want it to be over 105 degrees. Somewhere between 100 and 104 is ideal. That is where your yeast is going to be the happiest. I'm adding two tablespoons of sugar into my warm milk and I want to stir to dissolve this. Once my sugar is dissolved, I'm adding in one and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. Give this a little stir and set it over to the side for about 10 minutes. While our yeast is doing its thing, we're going to mix our dry ingredients. In this bowl, I have three cups of AP flour. I'm adding one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt, along with a quarter cup of brown sugar. Go ahead and mix these up really well. If you want to add cinnamon or any other spices to your pretzels, now is the time to do it. This is 10 minutes later and your yeast should be looking all happy and foamy like this. We're going to make a well in the center of our dry ingredients. Pour in two tablespoons of melted butter. You want to make sure that this butter is somewhat cooled but still melted. If it's too hot, it can kill your yeast. Now I'm adding in the yeast mixture. Be sure to get all of that goodness out of there. And we're going to stir this together. You do have to mush and mash it just a little bit to get all of the dry mixed in. Once your dough looks like this, we are going to turn it out onto a floured surface. Dip your hands in the flour as well. And then we are going to knead this for about five minutes until we have a nice smooth dough. And it is really sticky, so go ahead and put just a little bit of flour on top to start. To knead the dough, fold over the top, push down, spin it, fold over the top, push down, spin it, fold over the top, push down, spin it. You can also just do like this, whatever you're more comfortable with. Add flour as needed. Continue doing this for about five minutes until your dough is nice and smooth. Once your dough looks smooth like this and has become hard to knead, Go ahead and transfer it to a bowl that has been sprayed with cooking spray or brushed with olive oil. Give a little spray on top of your dough and cover it with plastic wrap. Allow this to rise at room temperature for one and a half to two hours until it is doubled in size. You can also save this dough for the next day. You would keep it in the fridge and when you take it out, let it rise. It will take a little bit longer to rise since it starts off cold. Once your dough has doubled in size and you're ready to roll it out, go ahead and combine two cups of water with a quarter cup of baking soda. Give this a stir and set it over to the side. We will be dipping our pretzels in this before they go into the oven. This is what gives them that nice brown color. This water is nice and hot to help dissolve my baking soda. Put this over to the side and we are ready to roll our dough. So I did go ahead and spray some cooking spray on the surface so that the pretzel dough would not stick. Turn it out. And the first thing that we need to do is press the air out. Just go ahead and press on it, literally press the air out of it. As I'm doing this, I'm trying to kind of get a rectangle shape because that is going to make it much easier to cut our dough in a few minutes. Once I feel like I have most of the air pressed out of it, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting strips. We're going to just simply cut with our pizza cutter. Pull the strip off. Roll it. You want the thickness to be about the thickness of your finger, or if you're like me and you have small hands, you want it to be about the thickness of your thumb. Once you get it rolled out, go ahead and start cutting. If you want to shape these so that they're more rounded, feel free. 
Now obviously normally you would go ahead and just do the remainder of your dough. I'm actually going to save this dough for tomorrow because I'm going to use my pretzel bites as an appetizer with some beer cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into a gallon baggie and put it into my fridge overnight. Tomorrow when I'm ready to serve I'm going to take it out of the refrigerator and let it set for probably an hour or so at room temperature. Press the air out again and cut the strips and so forth. Here I have a sheet pan which I sprayed with cooking spray and I'm just going to dip my little pretzel bites into that water that we did and put them directly onto the sheet pan. Sprinkle your pretzels with salt. I am using kosher salt and these are going to go into a 450 degree oven for 8 to 10 minutes. Brush these with butter as they come out of the oven and this is a really fun time to get creative with flavored butters. For example, you could do a garlic butter and then sprinkle Parmesan cheese on your pretzels. Serve these delicious pretzel bites with this beer cheese or put them on a charcuterie board also with some beer cheese.